Hey there. Thanks for joining me today. How are you all doing out there? Uh, this is going to be a fairly quick video. Um, I'm actually I'm doing this. It's late Friday afternoon, and I'm just going to have a special uh, treat for dinner this evening, um, and I just thought I would share it with you because this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a real good one. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's start making it. Okay, this one's going to be fairly simple. And I'm gonna start out with a half cup of ground rolled oats, just like I did with that apple pie one. This one just kind of gives it, you don't have to do it, it just kind of gives it a little bit creamier taste to it and gets me a little bit more uh, fiber in there. Next, I'm gonna put uh, three bananas in there. Then I'm gonna add two gooey medjool dates. Then I'm gonna put a tablespoon of cacao. I'm gonna put a tablespoon of all natural peanut butter. Straight out of the machine. I was thinking about that the other day. Um, I don't know any brands. Uh, I don't know that I'd be eating peanut butter or um, I usually eat almond butter, but uh, for this one I wanted peanut butter. I don't know if I'd be eating this stuff if I wasn't able to get it out of a machine. And then for time's sake, I went ahead and poured a full cup of milk, but I'm gonna start with uh, half of a cup. Cause I want this bad boy really nice and thick. And then let's blend it up. We might have to end up using the whole cup. Okay, as I thought that was pretty thick, a little thick to uh, suck through a straw. So I'm gonna add some more and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you know uh, how much I ended up using um, because I'm just gonna use a little I'm going to use about another two ounces and blend. But I mainly do this. I take the time because, like I say, I like them nice and thick and creamy. And, uh, you know, you can always add more liquid, but you can't take it out. So I'm going to blend this up. I'll be back, and I'll tell you how much of that milk I used. Okay, I ended up using one more quarter of a cup to get the consistency that I wanted. And you know, your consistency might be different. Like I said, if you'll just use little by little with the uh, almond milk, um, you can, you can, you know, you can stop at where you want the consistency to be. But I like the consistency here. It came out nice and rich. And ooh, look at that nice thick pour. Woo. Well, I can get the, I can get the rest out later. You don't need to see it all draining out. And I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Hmm. That is definitely good. Like I say, this is more of a treat because it's a Friday night, and I don't sit around and eat snacks or whatever. But uh, yeah, this is good. And I'll tell you the the actual proportions of this is good because I've done I've done I've used I, I use cacao and I've used uh, almond butter before in smoothies, but I've used a lot more bananas than this. But just with the three bananas in this combination, whew, this is kind of like a Reese's cup smoothie. So yeah, definitely give this one a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Be sure you hit that subscribe button and have a beautiful weekend. Peace.